Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here and I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Let's just get right into it here. If you do like the paranormal, yes, it's that time. Do check out my new book, Accepting the Gift. The Amazon link is below. I literally heard I didn't see this coming. I'm feeling that this is definitely a twin flame energy going on between husband and spouse, okay? Uh, I feel that this came on suddenly. I feel that it's the mother that passed away, the wife. Okay, we'll put her uh, wife. The Empress does represent the um, uh, a mother type of energy. That's where I came up with mother. Uh, but she could have definitely had kids, absolutely, because I said so. <laughs> kind of energy here. Uh, and I feel that it was very confusing. It even shocked her. I feel that it was like a massive heart attack of some sort. Now, I do feel that the husband found out from somebody else. I feel that he was either at work, and I'm feeling work, with the Eight of Pentacles, uh, and he had just left or... Uh, he was on his way home kind of thing from work, but he was either heading to there or he was on his way home. But he definitely hurried home when he when somebody did rush in and tell him this information. OK, that something massive has happened to her. Yeah, I do feel that the wife here kind of uh, she went over very swiftly, you know, very quickly here. Uh, didn't really know exactly where she was going because it was all so fast and confusing. Spirits, even spirits can get confused, okay? But once she arrived, she was set at ease. She was at peace here. She's still getting to, I just heard, she's still getting to know the neighborhood, okay? On the other side, that's cute. I've never heard it being called that way. I feel, I do feel that she was reunited with a daughter. I keep asking him in my head, head or a daughter or son here. I heard daughter pretty loudly. So I feel like this was a baby or, you know, a young child that was a girl here that had passed when she was little. She's waited for a long time to reunite with this daughter on the other side. She wishes that this is the wife. She wishes that she could have one last word. It's kind of like cut off so abruptly with her passing that she didn't get to say goodbye or what have you, you know. I also feel that she comes and visits the uh, the husband here at the home. Interesting. There's some kind of significance to the son. Meaning that it's going to be kind of a cool, crisp day, but that sun is going to be coming through the window and you're, it's going to feel like it's 90, okay? It's some kind of blaring of the sun, the warmth, okay? Just know that that is her. Her energy is around you. Her energy is warm, is loving, comfortable here. Definitely, I feel that the husband is trying to uh, continue with work, but he's just not totally, um, he's on slow motion. Okay. Definitely with his thoughts here, he's still struggling even after attempting to go back to work and work again. Obviously I feel that this was a young couple. I feel that the wife was young, husband's young, you know, clarify that. Uh, I feel like he had, he's very iffy about the afterlife. He's kind of yeah, I kind of believe, but then I quickly escape that energy, you know. Uh, and I do feel that he kind of throws himself into work to kind of compensate with the pain of it all. To answer your question, I don't know how long that this has been um, since she passed here. Uh, but to answer your questions, it's it's kind of like you can date. Just don't tell me about it. <laughs> That's what I heard her say. She's cute. Uh, but she wants you happy again. So I do feel that you 
Well, I just heard reunite. So you may know this person in your future, somebody from your past, you know, before her, uh, before you you two met, uh, that I feel that's going to be coming back retro, retro. So that could be during um, like retro season for sure. But I, I feel like uh, when you do meet this person, you could have met them already, you know, or re-met them again, I, I should say. Uh, you're going to battle with your thoughts of whether or not this person is appropriate for you. If she would approve. She's given your um, approval. Okay. I feel that she wants you to continue to work for a little bit longer. Even though I, I feel like you want to retire. Like you don't want to retire is what I'm picking up here, but you're going to be working forever. I was just thinking the same thing the other day. I'm going to be working forever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, but definitely, you know, she, she wants you to kind of chill, relax, and with this new person, retire. Okay. Uh, you're a hard worker. This is for the husband here, but yeah. She doesn't want you to change your life too, too much. But when it's time, it's time with the retirement thing. Okay. Just know how much that she loves you. She's sorry she caused the stress, the tears uh, for you to. Uh, oh, okay. I feel like. Uh, I feel like you have a hard time releasing seeing her. I see like a kitchen floor uh, laying on. She was laying on the kitchen floor, but. I, I just see this vision in my mind. But yeah, it was hard to comprehend, you know, her her laying there, okay? And it's kind of like you have, the husband has uh, flashbacks uh, of her laying there. And it was very traumatizing for you. She wants you to stay strong. She wants you to be happy. She knows how much you miss her for sure, okay? Uh, but I do feel that there's going to be an opportunity of new love, new love for you coming. Uh, yeah, it's all divine timing, basically, when uh, the right time will be, will be the right time to be, okay? Uh, but I do feel that spirit knows that you will meet somebody you're lonely, and I get that. Things are going to be confused, you know, um, better, but I feel that there's going to be, uh, like, touching on some kind of confusion, missing sorrow energy as well. You're strong, she's saying this to you, you're strong, you know what to do. You will show the action, okay, for sure. Very much lonely, missing her love here. She knows this, okay. She's so sorry. She, she, I can't say the word hate, but uh, my mom always said that was a bad word. So I can say dislike. She dislikes seeing you upset and lonely uh, without, I just heard. So. That's different. She offers her condolences. I literally heard that. Now, I'm also feeling that you met somebody, uh, obviously somebody from the past. This could be your future person here uh, at a funeral. Oh, my Lord. In the first book, uh, excuse me, Lord. Uh, but in the first book, which is uh, putting back the pieces, uh, it's all about being a widow. Uh, and <laughs> that's why I say that is because I was actually asked out by one of my my husband's good friends and co-workers right in front of his open, I don't know if I can say the C, you know, word, but yeah, right in front of him, literally. Uh, and I was like, dude, really? Like, it was just awkward, you know, and, and then, well, anyway, uh, but yeah, and then there was another instance, like the next day, my father passed away, went to his funeral, obviously, and um yeah, the day after my husband passed in, uh, the same thing happened again. I'm like, what is wrong with people? <laughs> like, it was just really awkward and weird. But anyway, that was a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, you're going to, you're going to reconnect somebody that was offering you to be there for you. If you can do it, if they can do anything for you kind of thing, you're going to strike up a conversation and be with this person. I do feel this is somebody I heard a shining light. And I do feel that she knows, obviously, she knows of this person too, okay? Uh, but yeah, you definitely know, all three of you know each other. Yeah, she wants you to accept that cup of love and just start out with, uh, you know, communication and uh, sharing coincidences. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so that tells me that she herself could have been a widow or she is a widow herself or went through a similar situation at one time, you know, 
Uh, but that's what I have. Wow, she's matchmaker. She is your twin. It's hard to release a twin flame's energy for sure. But she just wants you. But it was cute because the way that she phrased it was, yes, you can date. Just don't tell me about it. <laughs> which, of course, they all know anyway. You know, they know what we're doing in our life anyway, which made me giggle because that's what it is. Uh, but anyway, that is what I have. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as well as uh, smash the like button. If you are on the uh, messages from loved ones channel, do take that time to subscribe. Once we reach 500 subscribers, I am going to be giving away a book that I wrote. Um, you can check it on out. The Amazon link is down below in the description, in the uh, comment section actually, and the description box too. So thanks guys, have a good one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.